Spoilers ahead for Black Mirror Seasons 1 through 4. In the book Inside Black Mirror, the series creator Charlie Brooker talks about the conception of the ADI, or Autonomous Drone Insects, claiming that Hated in the Nation and Season 4's Metalhead both sprang from the same idea. But if enough people voted for a particular person to be killed by a terrifying robot or several robots? In Hated in the Nation, bees have become virtually extinct due to colony collapse disorder. They don't necessarily know what caused it, the reason could be climate change or basically anything involving humans. Hated in the Nation is one of the more realistic episodes of Black Mirror, as it perfectly depicts our society right now. Instead of everyone giving more time and energy to focus on the more important things like preventing ecological disasters, we all just fight with each other online about really dumb stuff that's usually incited by companies controlling the narrative. Oh wow, Bryce is already out here with the hot takes, I see. But deforestation and climate change are some of the reasons implied in this episode as to why the bees are gone. Because in this world, the Siberian crane was on the list of animals to go extinct as well, due to an unprecedented reduction in its wetland habitat. Anyway, enough about the Siberian crane. Since bees are a pretty important part of our environment, we had to find some artificial replacement for these little pollinators. The UK government government backed a project ran by the company Granular to create honeybee mimicking drone insects known as ADIs. To be specific, Granular developed the ADI through Project Swarm ADI. The project was led by Rasmus Schulberg. Granular had other notable people working on Project Swarm, such as former Granular employee Garrett Scholes. But we'll get to him in a second. The ADIs are activated every year during the essential seasons when plants need to be pollinated. The story of Hated in the Nation takes place in the year 2024, during the second summer the ADIs are activated, meaning the ADIs were first put into circulation in the year 2023. In the book Inside Black Mirror, the visual effects supervisor Dan May talked about the design of the ADIs, saying with the bees we wanted to create something that was plausible, rather than being over-designed. Something recognizable as bees, because within the world of the story they needed to have this kind of placebo effect, so that the population felt real bees were still there. And at the same time, they needed to be a little creepy. In both appearance and behavior, the ADIs are meant to replicate real bees. As we know, the A in ADI stands for autonomy, so they're programmed to behave like real bees completely on their own. In order to find flowers, each ADI is installed with a visual sensor. The sensor's primary purpose is for rudimentary pattern recognition, to help the bees navigate and find the right plants. Each and every ADI pollinates flowers the same way as real bees. When they crawl inside the plant, the pollen sticks to their legs. However, ADIs do not get their energy from nectar. Instead, they're solar powered. Unlike real bees, ADIs cannot produce honey. So as an alternative, the hives of the ADI act as 3D printers to produce more ADIs. Each hive can hold around 4,000 bees. This is what allowed them to cover the entirety of the UK in such a short time span. In the year 2024, there was an estimated total of around 20 to 30,000 hives spread throughout the UK. With an average of 4,000 bees per hive, we're talking anywhere between 80 to 120 million ADIs operating in the UK during the events of Hated in the Nation. At the time of developing the story of Hated in the Nation, Charlie Brooker was unaware that other companies in the real world were developing artificial bees. Two of the granular employees we meet, Vanessa Dahl and Rasmus Schulberg, are relatively not evil people. Both of them genuinely seem passionate about their work of preventing an environmental catastrophe. This, however, is tainted by the authoritarian backers of their essential company. The drive up to the granular headquarters building consisted of five different locations in order to give off the appearance of isolation and scale, implying that the government generously backed the project as they see it as an asset. But the only reason they heavily invested into it was to enhance their already invasive surveillance on the population. Ideally, the bees should be left alone. When one bee passes from one hive to another, it's like they're passing to a new jurisdiction, as the only thing controlling how the ADIs operate is their connection to the hive. This connection is protected by military-grade encryption, so it should be near impossible for anyone to access. During the negotiations and funding granular, the government demanded that the security services would have access to the ADI's visual feed at times of increased national security. It was confirmed by Agent Sean Lee and Rasmus that the government routinely accesses the visual feed all the time. The government paired the visual feed of the ADI's with their own facial recognition software, exploiting this opportunity for total nation 
worldwide surveillance. Lee argued that this level of surveillance does more good than bad, but made this argument in only the second year the ADIs have been in rotation, so the evidence backing up that claim wouldn't be significant. In fact, Garrett Skulls would later go on to disprove that theory real quick. The backdoor created for the government allowed Garrett Skulls to access the system, and basically take control over the entire thing. Garrett left Granular after his former roommate fell victim to a massive amount of hateful comments online. He would later go on to establish the hashtag death2 movement, the rules being whoever has the highest amount of hashtag death2s attached to their name by the end of the day, that person will die. Using the government's identity database to find the target's location, as well as utilizing the government implemented facial recognition software to identify the target, Garrett was able to gain access to the system and repurpose the bees to carry out the new hashtag death2 movement. The ADIs were reprogrammed to burrow into the target's head and crawl right through their dorsal posterior insula, allegedly known as the pain center of the brain, causing an unfathomable amount of pain before the victim dies. After locking out the lead technician running Project Swarm, Garrett reprogrammed the ADI to act even more like real bees. Before this change, anyone could grab an ADI off the street and then put them in a microwave for a YouTube video. But during the movement, the bees aggressively defended their hives by swarming the attackers. Garrett planted a hard drive with his source code to make Rasmus believe he could get back control of the system. The hard drive contained the information of every user that posted hashtag death2, and this hard drive was connected to Granular's system. This trap automatically sent all 80 to 120 million bees after the users. The number of social media users killed during day 4 of the hashtag death2 movement was over 387,000, making it the largest death toll in the history of Black Mirror. At the end of the episode, a protester sign reveals the accurate number of deaths from Project Swarm ADI, which is 387,704 deaths. On top of that, every victim of the hashtag death2 attack went through the same kind of pain we learned about earlier in the episode. The victims we know by name are Joe Powers, Tusk, Clara Meads, Tom Pickering, Liza Bahar, and Nick Shelton. With such a high death toll causing a massive amount of public outrage, Project Swarm ADI is most likely cancelled. The longevity of the company Granular would also be in question. There is this protester outside of the courthouse waving the sign hashtag death to Granular. Ironic, but possibly meaning that at the time of Karen's testimony, Granular is still in operation. So that was my comprehensive guide to Project Swarm ADI. I wanted to make a video basically just encompassing all the information we know about Project Swarm ADI and the autonomous drone insects. If you guys like this video, let me know because I would really like to keep doing Black Mirror Technology Explained, uh, but I just need, I need some support. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next Black Mirror Explained video.